Okay, so we're gonna work on we're working on Chucky Chicken today. Here's this the bottle that I did with the chicken thing. Now I tried two different methods for his feet, and one ended up being way better than the other. Let me show you an example. Okay, tripod to not dump you on your head. So the first one I did was I cut out um, cardstock and used the yellow duct tape, right? I didn't like the way it was coming out, it looked cheesy, right? So then I just went ahead and switched to the heavy grade of the fun foam that has the sticky feel on the back, so it's real thick. And I cut a piece out for the bottom, and then watch this. Okay, so his little feet are gonna stick out this way. You see that? <laughs> cute. And because he stands on his own, you don't have to use any wire or anything like that because he's just going to stand on his own on top of his feet, right? Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> so, we're going to put those on. I think we're good with them right there. So, let's put some blue. Just make sure your seam is in back, right? And we're just going to put that right there. <laughs> I just think that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to work on um, his beard. We'll get his beard going. And his... Uh, nose. I'm not sure on the nose. I think what I'm going to do on his nose is grab one of these bigger noses. Yeah, that one's too big. Let's see what we got here. This one. Oops. Like, I don't know. Put his nose there and maybe just paint it yellow and make it look like a beak. Or do I do I do a beak? I think that would be cuter, don't you? I mean, his beard will be in there, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I just, I'm loving on those feet. I think that's cool. We have mom here today. She's painting a gnome. Let's go see what she's doing. She's trying to duplicate my rug. Oh, I like it. That's great shading. But you do them. I cannot. You know how you get your liner bot? I run out of paint on my liner brush before I get to the end of the Well, line. on a shading situation like this, remember it's half the brush is water and the other half is paint. And then it will fade out. Put that paint side up here and the water side of the brush and then run it through there and then you get... You mean on this brush? Um, yeah, a square brush instead of a filbert. But that looks really good. I mean, from a distance here. Uh -huh. Yeah, that looks really good. I'd leave it, leave it now. I wouldn't mess with it. Yeah, she's trying to come up with something like this on my rug. That's cute. No, see, that looks like it's shaded. That's the way it's supposed to look. But a liner brush, when you do a liner... I oh, you're talking about the thin line? Yeah, I run out of paint. The secret I... is a lot of water. I did that and then it started running into my other paint. Well, that was then that's too much water. Maybe it's because the other paint wasn't dry quite. Probably. I think I need to give this another coat though. Yeah. Yep, that looks good. So, anyways, down here and hubby is over there. He's washed Ruby. He's working on Hezzy. Um. The shed is getting um, sealed today with the, um, uh, what do you call it, deck sealer or whatever. Get it ready for the rainy season. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to do that, though, with the nose, guys. I think we're going to put his beard on. So let me turn you this way. Remember, we have to cater to the GoPro thingy. Yeah, so see the difference better right right 
I know you guys are seeing it right. I know they are just so cute. Now this has the paper on the bottom. I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. Just don't peel it off. Let me find what colored bear are we gonna do? What Maybe we should go set up a booth on Highway 56 over there where they're selling all their spices and stuff. Yeah. Set up a table. Yeah. You never know. I don't know. Oh, I have feathers. Take a cold drink. I don't like black. Sandwich. I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't have anything to sell, but I come with you. Where are we? Okay. I don't think anybody could have spiders. <laughs> Put a good price on them that, you know, you want to sell them. <coughs> Yeah. I don't know, guys. Should I do this color? Or should I do gray? I don't have a gray one. I don't know. Gray? See, when it comes to these little guys, you can just keep all your scraps and stuff because you'll always need them. And then here's... <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Let's see what we got here. Um, and then there's white. There's always white, right? Um, and then put his little beak in there. I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll go with traditional white. And then we'll put his little beak right in here. Yeah, I think that's the one. So, and then I found feathers. Look. <laughs> we gotta have a few feathers stuck to him, right? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I'm not sure, like... Yeah, we're gonna go white. We'll do white. Let's put these back. Yeah, I just keep like a little scrap bag of scrappy furs. Because if you decide to do a keychain or I'm going to try to do a pair of Nomi earrings, the little teeny tiny, um, then at least you have, okay, we need to trim this up. This needs to be so trimmed. But again, you cut this from the back. Um, I need my good scissors little tiny scissors um, we want to keep that and that but we want to cut this this way get rid of some of this and get rid of some of this your little gnomey comb, right? And just brush out some of that. It just came off. Some of that off of there. Bring him back. Let's I think we're gonna wrap this all the way around the back like that. Then I gotta figure out a hat. And if I put his little chicken beak 
there's that little piece that I had that I said let's use it as a beak. What do I do with it? And it's this one. I mean, this is just an example, but I'm thinking. I don't know. This we have to work on. So, but I have to know. I think that that's going to be. Um, I think the beak is going to be there, right? Do never use your fiskers on anything other than fabric. That's why I always keep another pair handy. So this one's okay. Let's go across this way and bring this in. Okay, so there's that, or there's this. Move this up like that, and put his nose like I normally do, right in here. I think I like the chicken. I like this better. Should we put this down here? No. I think it needs to go up here, guys. I think we need to bring this back down like that and put this up there like that. We can glue it on an angle so that it's, yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, let's, let's, I need two hands. Put this glue along here. the back. Okay. And then I can take this side. Jim? Yes. Look at the heart. Look at the hat. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Keep in mind I'm doing this completely from scratch. I have never done this before, ever. This is design on the go. Now, I have these broken in. What I'm going to do is take the sticky stuff off here. And I am going to bend that side in. Oops, 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 oops. No, I'm not. Stop it. Come back off there. Damn it. Okay. We just want to bend it. We don't want to stick it. We just want to give it a break. Give it a little bendy there, okay? Then we're going to take this like this. And we're going to put it like that. Okay. <laughs> no, we got that goodness. chicken out. I think Tom would make chicken inch I remember those little dishes I had where I could make two enchiladas in one dish? Yeah, they're in your cabinet. No, those are the big ones. Oh. I had the little individual ones. Well, they're over there somewhere, unless. Because those you wouldn't have thrown out. Those are like bigger ones. And I don't like it. These were those little, little ones that you could put. They fit two in perfectly. Yeah. just putting a thing at the top because I have an idea. I have a visual. There's a method to my madness. Okay. Let's go from here to here, I think. So, cut there and cut right there. Okay. They're in there. Peel this off. You know, you can always fix your oopsies. There's always a solution. 
I don't usually ever have to just scrap something completely and toss it in the trash. Don't do that. Okay. I'm kind of liking that. Right. Now he looks like a big fat fluffy chicken. Then I'm going to take... Where is my... There it is. Okay. I'm going to take this black and we're going to go in deep, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's just too cute. Now we got to figure out what to do with his head. we got to figure out what to do with his head. He needs, he needs a plume or a mohawk or something. But, what do you think guys? I think he's pretty cool. And I like his big fat fluffiness over here. And then if you take some of these feathers and just put some feather feathers around him. I think I have different colored feathers. I will look. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break for a minute and go down and check on mom and it will be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready for the big reveal on Chicken Boy? Tucky Chicken. Okay, here he goes. You ready? <laughs> He's got his mohawk. So, all I did was um, take a piece of fur and wrap it around that lid and then glue it together up here to give him that look but um yes <laughs> no i'm not talking to myself oh my gosh look at so anyways he's done um i've added some tail feathers to the back of him so he's got a little bit of feather action going on back there with him being held on with a little black bead i just used a sharpie to paint that but Okay, so there he is. You know what would be ultimately cute is if I could find a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> but anyways, there he is in all his gloriness. Let's put him up here so you can see him better. Huh. Move my chair out of the way. There he is. Let's see. Then all you do is turn this. Up. I gotta pick. And then you can fill him, right? <laughs> Let me, my leg fell off again. This keeps falling off the tripod. So let's put him here really quick. So I can fix his, put his hat on right, right. Let's see. This has to go this way. Let's go see what, how the new one doing. I can show mom this chicken. <laughs> oh, don't turn me this the glue again. Alright, how's our, do our girl doing? Oh, look how cute. <laughs> That's turning out cute. Got finished the rough one. trying not to touch the edge, but you can hear. Yeah. Back, back here. Look. Look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> 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 well, I've never met a chicken that looks like that. <laughs> this is Chucky Chicken. Chucky Chicken. Oh, Chucky okay. Chicken. <laughs> I guess this is, this is Dora. We'll call her Dora. <laughs> yeah. Dora the girl gnome. 
So yes, anyways. That too will be listed on um, him and my um, hillbilly and my original um, jar when Nomi will be in my posh mark if you guys are interested. But remember, always mention that you saw my YouTube video and I'll send a free gift to go with it. So anyways, thanks for coming along on this journey. Remember to pray, craft, prep, and rant. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.